welcome everybody to my yoga flow class today. So we're going to start off in cross legged position as we open our practice. Just bring ourselves quietly into ourselves and into the room. So sit with your palms facing up, make a hand mudra with your index finger and your thumb. And just take a few breaths in. Just bring yourself into your space. Just allow your eyes to close or just lower your gaze, your drishti. And just notice any sensations that you feel in the body and where. Notice the sensations that, and thoughts that pop into your mind. And notice your breath. Just turn your attention within now. And just have a sense of accepting how you feel. And make your intention for your practice, for whatever it is you brought to your mat today what you wish to achieve from your class. And just put that intention into one word to use as your mantra throughout the class when you find some poses challenging, what parts of your life would that relate to that you find challenging? Bring your palms together. So let's bring ourselves into a kneeling position. So you can use your cushion. Make sure that your shins are on the cushion. Your knees are up off the floor and your toes are just lightly resting. So we're just going to do a, a nice gentle flowing warm up. So take a breath in and exhale. Take a breath in. Bring those palms down as you exhale. Take a breath in and exhale. Take a breath in, reach the right arm up, left hand down, reach over to the side, release, and do that flow to the other side. And again, take a breath in and exhale, inhale. and release it down. It's coming up onto the knees, resting on your cushion. Let's take a breath in. As you exhale, just twist to your right and again. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more each side, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Center, come back down, and rest. Just notice your breath, getting a little, little bit more now, a little bit of heat coming in the body, a bit of movement. We're going to bring ourselves onto all fours. So let's start in a cat-cow flow. So pushing up with the breath out into cat. Inhale as you come down into cow pose. And again, pushing up through cat. And down into cow. So widening collarbones and widening shoulder blades. This time we're going to add another movement, so pushing up and sitting back and come forward, lift, pushing up, sitting back, come forward. 
upwards into cow pose, push up into cat, back into child's pose, forwards and dip into cow, do that one more time, pushing up and sitting back and come forwards. I'm going to change this a little bit now by just bringing it to the centre, to kind of a lateral flow. So pushing up, over to the right, back into child's pose, over to the left and dip forward into your cow. Push up into cat, over to the left, back into child's pose, over to the right, forward and dip back into cow. And again, pushing up, and back, really opening out through side body. Feel that lovely opening here. And lift and pushing up and back. Turn and coming forwards and lift. And then from here, just tuck your toes under, open the knees and just sit back into our child's pose here on your toes. You can put your toes down flat if you wish. Just press the right shoulder, press the left shoulder. You're really opening out. Okay, so from here we're going to add a plank pose into down dog from this position. So bring your knees in, come forward, and arms down. So come forward here and come up into cobra. Push down. Push up onto your knees into modified plank and sit back into child's pose. Come forwards, keep it low and up into cobra. Release it down, push up onto the knees and sit it back. Again, one more time, come forwards, up into cobra. So really starting to feel the body warming up, loosening up, and stretch it back. So from here, going to push forwards into Cobra, and then down, push up onto the knees, and then tuck your toes under, and push up into Down Dog. So from here, Come forward into a plank, drop your knees, lower down, push up into cobra. A little bit higher if it's available to you, reach down, push up into the knees, toes under and lift into down dog. And again, push forward into plank, lower down, press and lift, release. Push up, up, into down dog. So I'm going to hold this here now. Just walk the dog side to side, side body moving. Good. And from here, just going to walk your feet in towards your hands. And then take a breath in, come up. And we go wide into a triangle pose. So feet nice and wide, shoulders back and down. So you're going to turn your left foot out slightly, left heel out, turn your right foot forwards, that 90 degree angle there, hips are square. Let's take those arms out. Okay, so from here, we just whichever position you want your hands, I like to have my hands like this to be honest. So just push your left hip out as you press down. So you can use your block here, either behind you or in front of you. So take hold of your block, whatever my block is, <laughs> and take the shoulder back. Good. So we're gonna do that on a flow a few times. So push the hip, reach, or you're reaching forwards as you come down to your block, and this top arm comes up so your arms are in line, and then reach back up. And again, so reach forwards and turn that top arm, come down. And I'm just gonna hold this time now. So make sure the weight is even through both feet. 
Make sure the weight is even through the back foot. So ground that outer edge. Take a few deep breaths in and out here. Good. And then release back up. Bring the feet forwards. So move your block out of the way for a sec. Let's take those arms up. Breath in and exhale. Take a breath in and exhale. Take a breath in, ground it through the feet. Exhale, hold. Lift and push the hips back as you come forwards into that halfway position and lift with the breath in and exhale. And again, lift with the breath in, exhale. So we're gonna hold it now. So you can use your blocks if you wish. If your hands can get to the floor, that's fine. So lift the hips, push it back, give a lovely stretch through the backs of the thighs here, just resting down. And if you can, come down and fold a little deeper so you can have your block and have your head resting on your block or on the floor, whatever height you can go. That's fine. Walk your hands through and then slowly bring it back in. And coming up, pushing through the feet and take a breath in and bring it down. So let's push now with our foot out that, uh, so your right heel is going out, your left foot is coming to the side, hips are square. Let's take a breath in and exhale. Take a breath in, feel that lift, that elevation and exhale. Take a breath in and hold. Okay, so we're just going to push that hip right hip out and lift up so again you can use your block either to the front or to the back whatever is right for you and then reach back up take a breath in exhale so reach the hip reach forward with that left arm down to your block right arm comes up shoulder comes back and release take a breath in exhale reach and we're going to hold it this time. So nice big hold. Shoulders back. Relax through the breath. Deepen the breath. Try to find a little bit more space. Weight is even through both feet. And just relax there. Just let everything go. Deepen the breath. And then slowly start to come up, lift and exhale. Just bring those feet forwards, take a breath in and bring it down in front. Okay, breath in, exhale forwards. So again, use your blocks if you need to, sit back. Take a breath in as we flow through the movement first of all and exhale. And again, breath in and exhale. Do that one more time and then we hold. So breath in, lengthen through fingertips, bring it down, use your blocks if you need to. Sit the hips back, feet forwards, Rest it down on your forearms, on your block, whatever is right for you. So you're hinging from your hips here. You can move your hands through the legs and just have that lovely stretch here. Deepen the breath. And then slowly bring the arms back as we come up into our splits pose now. So walk your feet in. Bend the knees, come up into chair and up, relax. Okay, so we're going to use a block now or a cushion. I suggest you have something quite soft for the back of your front leg. So place that 
down here. Step your right leg over and come back with your left leg. So we're coming into a split position. So you might just want to be in that position there. So whatever position is right for you, whatever height you need your block, that's fine. So start off where you feel comfortable and feel that lovely stretch on the front of that hamstring here. And then you can lengthen the back leg out as much or as far as you wish as your tissues start to release. So try to keep yourself upright and rest it through. So I'm holding on to my cushion here as well to keep my back in a good upright position. And I'm just going to lengthen through a little bit more here. So do some movement in your hip. Find the position that's right for you. And when you feel able to, you can drop that cushion down and just lengthen through a little more. So I'm still holding on to my cushion here to get myself into that splits position. And relax. So don't hold yourself tense. Let it all go. Use the cushion as a support to keep you in the place that you feel comfortable with. And then just hold it there. Release everything. Okay, so we're going to do that on the other side. So the way we're going to do that is by bringing this cushion out, coming up onto a nice wide intense leg stretch pose as we were in just now moving your cushion back this way and then turning so you want your front foot towards the front of your mat so that you've got enough room behind you to inch that back leg away and again just hold on to your block your cushion here so you're nice and upright and you may find that one side is easier to stretch than the other and it doesn't you don't have to be this far down you can be, have this back leg in a little bit. It's all about where you feel the stretch, okay? Where you feel that you're getting something from it, you can relax into it. So if you're hanging on for grim death, you don't want to be doing that in that position. So just relax it through. Find a position that's right for you. Use the supports and just rest it through. So a bolster is a really nice thing to do here because you get a bit more a bit more support with the bolster, especially one of the, the big heavy ones like I've got. So just relax through that. Good. And then as you feel yourself kind of have a, a kind of an ah mo moment, then you can lower down a little deeper and get into that stretch a little more. So it's all about releasing through, listening to your body, and relaxing. So we're stretching the psoas area here on this hip flexor on the back leg, hamstrings on the front. So not many people stretch deep enough to get into the, the ligaments that we do with yin. So this is not a yin class, but we're just doing a nice longer stretch than we would normally do. So just holding it there, relax. And just feel the tissues release, relax the shoulders, let your hands rest on your cushion here or whatever you're resting on. And then from here, we're going to come forward, bring yourself into a sitting position and then into a straddle. So you can use your cushion here to sit on, okay, and then that will give you a nice lift of your hips and you'll get into a much deeper straddle pose. So lift the hips up behind you. You can use your cushion here. You can rest on it here. Rest your head on it. Whatever you feel comfortable. So before we get into that position, just internally rotate. Move from the hips forward. Find your position of stretch and then externally rotate. So open out. And then just have your cushion here, just relax it through. Lengthen through both heels, toes up, and just ease down into that 
lovely straddle stretch position. So working a lot on the legs today. Let your arms rest. Just let the whole body release. So don't hold yourself tense. Focus on your breath. So take a breath in. Fill as much space as you can in the front, back and sides of your ribcage. And then long, slow breath out. Relaxing breath out. Just let everything go. As if you're breathing out all tensions. Now if you're struggling here with this pose, then bring it in a little bit. Find the position that's right for you. And if you are struggling and finding it a challenge, just think about the word in your mantra for your intention for your class today, for your practice. And keep reminding yourself why you're here on your mat. And that word will just help you to stay as much as you can. Because in life we come up uh, lots of challenges. And if we can overcome the challenge of a discomfort in a, in a pose, we can overcome whatever else comes into our, into our daily lives, okay? So we're going to come out of this now. So just gently bring your legs in. And we're going to do another pose, half lord of the fishes. So we're gonna do it in the half one first of all. So have your left leg forward, straight, Pull the flesh out from behind you. Lift your right leg and cross it over and bring the foot up as close as you can so you're in that half position here. Bring that arm around. Lift up, extend and take that arm behind. Hold on to your cushion or whatever you're holding and then just look around to the side. So I'm just using this arm to hold this leg in place. What you don't want is for it to drop down over here. Okay, so hold it with the crook of your elbow and sit up nice and tall so a lovely big upright position here and relax it through so try not to slump or anything this straight leg push that heel away you get a lovely opening through this outer thigh and hip here now so really working on the hips and the legs really opening up we hold a lot of our tension in our hips and our thighs and pelvis area so we need to work on that area to release that tension release the sensations that we sometimes feel elsewhere in our body but comes from the stress here so just hold in that position breathing taking a breath in as you exhale just deepen and for those who want to you can bring that front leg back into a bent position here and do a full um, full pose, Lord of the Fishes. So just hold it there. Lovely twist. Breathing deep, twisting, finding a little bit more space, moving into that space. Good, and then release that. So bring that leg forward this other leg forward just give them a little shake and just bring your flesh out from behind you again as we go into that same pose on the other side so keep your uh, right leg straight this time cross your left leg over bring it in so right foot is pushed away sitting up tall and then just reach and hook that elbow around pull it in and hold take your left arm up and bring it down behind you and lift and lengthen through your spine. So nice, and then turn and twist to the side. So make sure both hip bones stay down on your support, whether you're on the floor, whether you're sitting on a cushion. Cushion is always nice because it gives you that little bit of lift and just helps you to get into the pose a little bit more while you're working on improving your flexibility and your mobility around this area. So let's just focus on breath here now. So relax through that back hand, even though you're using your hand to keep your spine upright, it's a, just a gentle touch here and a gentle pull 
of the leg in towards you as you push the left shoulder back away from you. You can look over the shoulder if that's available to you as well. So those who want to, you can bring that front leg back, bring this foot in a little bit more and sit and just get a much deeper stretch now. So that's your option to just move that pose on a little further. And just relax it through, just let everything go. Good, and then release. Take that leg forward, bottom leg forward. Just give your legs a little shake. So we're going into Shavasana now. So just for about three minutes or so, we're just going to have a nice little relax to so come off your cushion. And uh, I'll just come sideways. So just roll yourself down. Use any supports that you feel you might need. So bring your shoulder blades in toward each other a little bit. Extend the legs out to the wide edge of your mat, arms out to the side. So if you want to use a cushion for your head, you only want a little small one or a small block, and you want this just to be at the on your skull part, not on your neck, okay? So just to give you that little bit of uh, kind of closing of the throat there, a little bit. And we're just going to lie here and relax. Just let everything go. So this is everybody's favorite part of their yoga practice. You feel all the tingling in your body from the poses and the work that you've done. So just bring your attention to your breath. Notice the rise and fall of the belly and the chest as you breathe. With each breath out, just have a sense of letting go, of breathing away tension in your body, negative thoughts in your mind. tensions in your breath. With each breath out, have a sense of just relaxing down into the mat, into Mother Earth beneath you, just as a mother cradles her baby. Just let Mother Earth cradle you, taking you to a place of peace tranquility of relaxation. Just notice any sensations in your body, in the warmth in the inside of your hands. Deepen your breath, and with that deep breath, just bring small movements to fingers and toes, circles to wrists and ankles, and movements to head and neck. Take a breath in and reach those arms up, fingers and toes away, stretching one side, then the other side. And then releasing down, hug those knees in, and gently roll side to side. And then onto your side and up into a relaxed sitting position as we bring our practice to a close. Just sit however you feel comfortable. Bring your palms together. So 
as we give thanks for the time we've allowed ourselves today, what you've learnt about yourself, what you can take forward into your daily life. Think about your mantra, your word, when things in life get a bit tough and a bit challenging. And just keep yourself on an even keel with your mantra. Bring your thumbs to your third eye. And I thank you for joining me today. Namaste.